What's up guys? Um, this is uh, Hilton with Yellow Sky Actions. Um, today I'm going to be doing a video tutorial on how to transform an image, a beautiful image, from um, great to over the top. Um, so a photographer sent me um, an image and here it is. Her name is Stacy Wheeler. So, Stacy, if you're listening to this right now, thank you so much for sending this over to us. Um, this is a great image. It's beautiful. Um, so, basically, I'm going to take it from here. This is straight out of the camera to bam, there. Very subtle. Uh, brings out the colors. Makes them more vibrant um, all over. Uh, so, again, here's the before and here's the after. So, I'm going to show you real quick how I did it. And I use the actions from the Big Bundle set for CS3 through CS6. So the first action I ran um, is an action called It's Time to Shine, which is in the uh, Essential set. And I've got these preloaded to save you guys a lot of time for this video. So I ran that, and then I went within this action, and I dropped the shine sharp down to 35%. I clicked off the uh, shine sharp uh, layer, went to the it's time to shine full action layer and dropped that down to 65%. Went back down to it and clicked it on. The reason why I did that is because if I'd have kept this, uh, uh, this layer on and dropped it down, it would have dropped it down to sharp even more. We want that to be at 35%. Okay, so the next action I ran is an action called fist pump which is in the smoke and effect set there's the before boom more vibrant colors all that good stuff okay so the next action I ran was dodge it here's the before here's the after this is a brush action anytime you see an action with the black mask you're gonna paint on um, the action so black mask make sure the foreground's white and all I did was, um, here I'll show you what it looked like before. I brightened up these eyes, so all I did was brush that on and around, um, you know, 30% brush opacity. Um, even the whites of the eyes just a little bit. And then I also lightened up the background a little bit, as you can see. Here again, here's the before. Look at the background and look at the eyes. The before, after. All right. So the next action I ran was an action from the color set called Pale Rouge. And you notice how those, um, her skin tones really became more, um, you know, uh, lifelike, uh, film-like. Um, so here it is before. See how it's, you know, uh, cooler? Here's the, uh, with the Pale Rouge. And I dropped it down to 35%. So here it is at 100 it's too, it's too, it's too pink. Um, so I dropped, that's why we dropped it down. Again, this is a very subtle edit, but it hits the spot. Okay, the next action, vintage instant photo from the, uh, the color set. It gives it more of that, um, earthy feel. And we dropped this action down to 28%. Here it is at 100. Again, it's too much. We're not going for, you know, the dramatic, you know, uh, vintage look. We just want to give it this that earthy tone. So we dropped it back down to 28%. Here's the before the vintage, after. All right. Um, the next thing we did was we ran a brush called Bring on the Blues. And we did it for the paint on her face. Now, watch closely. I'm going to zoom in for you. Here's Bring on the Blues. See how vibrant it is? Here's the before. It's very subtle. And again, this is the brush. So it's the same thing as the dodge it. When it's a black mask, make sure that foreground's white. We brushed it on at 45-50% um, brush opacity. Last step we did um, in this section is Eat Your Greens, which is another brush. And we did it, um, we brushed it on the background and her paint and over the eyes just a little bit. So here it is. 
Again, here's the before, here's the after. It made the brush, you know, the paint, the colors more vibrant. It made the greens more green in the background. Um, and yeah, so, okay, the last step. Um, you notice how her eyes, everyone's got dark um, areas, shadows underneath the eyes. Um, and see before, let me zoom in for you. Here's before. You see these dark areas right here? Well, now they're gone. Um, we've got a new set coming out um, in the near future called that has an action called Under Eye Concealer. And what it does is it just brushes away those shadows. Boom, here's the before, here's the after. Huge difference. Uh, it's a time saver. Um, and yeah, but um, that will um, soon to be, you know, offered on our site. So, 98% of these actions are used from the Big Bundle set, CS3 through 6. Again, that under eye concealer is a new action that's coming out with a new set for the big for the uh, for CS3 through 6 in the near future. Um, Stacy, thank you so much for sending this over. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope this helps you guys out. Um, feel free. I'm going to be posting this on the forum as well as the Facebook fan page. If you have any questions, comment below, comment on the forum. You guys have a great day.